Yo, what's good, y'all? This is your boy Mel with Ill Vicious LLC. Yo, today is crazy. I just want to throw this video real quick. Yo, so I'm on, I use this app. It's kind of like Offer Up, but it's called Let Go. It has a lot more downloads, so I figure it's more popular. So I'm like, you know, let me check it out. So last couple days, I've been looking for lenses, you know, for Micro Four Thirds, either some Olympics, some Luna, uh, Lumix, or some Leica lenses, you know, to see if I can get some good deals. So I got on uh, last night. And I saw a Panasonic Lumix GX8. So it's more of a photo camera, you know, it has a higher shutter, uh, what do you call it? It has a higher shutter speed up to like 8,000. I think it might go even higher, but I know it goes to 8,000 for sure. Mainly it's more a photo cam camera. I would say two thirds photo, one thirds video. Now what caught my attention was one, it was $200. I was like, $200? I was like, man, let me check the specs of this camera, you know, maybe I can use this as a good BTS behind the scenes camera for, you know, when I shoot music videos or something like that. So then I looked on there, I was looking at the specs online. Well, before I get to the specs, I was looking on Amazon and B&H and stuff like that. The camera was running like $800, $900 for the body alone. So I'm like, wait, $200? And I already got the Micro Four Thirds lenses and the speed booster. And the Sigma, like, say for instance, Sigma 18 to 45, I mean, 18 to 35, I'm bugging today. I need my coffee. Sigma 18 to 35, what I'm shooting with right now, right? So I'm like, man, I already got the lenses put on there. What's the video capabilities? I look online, I see it shoots 4K. It shoots 24 frames a second. And it shoots 30 frames a second. I'm like, I could use this as a B or a C cam shooting uh, videos and stuff. Now, there is limitations on the video. Uh, video you can't shoot uh, vlog there's no flat picture profiles there's no cine d cine v and stuff like that um there is the the natural the vivid profile you know all the other profiles monochrome that they got on the j's 5 j's 5s however there's no vlog so i wouldn't use this for no like important corporate stuff like high paying corporate stuff i mean you can still shoot commercials with it um I like to use vlog when I'm shooting music videos or cine v so I have you know a little bit more flexibility in post when it comes to the you know color grading and stuff like that but this bad boy right here this is the GX the GX8 right here got the battery brand new out the box they didn't they didn't even really use it the dude he does a lot of drone work and he just found himself not even using it. he didn't even have a lens for the camera <laughs> he didn't, I mean, he had a memory card, he gave me one of those I didn't need, but I brought my lenses to make sure the let chunks and everything work. Even though it was out the box, you know, some people could drop things and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I made sure it worked. I mean, this camera is great. I shot with it. Now, I can't, I will say, for some reason, uh, the continuous autofocus is way better on here than the GH5. I wish I could test it out for you guys. Um, I should have put some footage, but I, I'm just lazy right now. I just want to talk about the camera. But yeah, um, Lumix GX8, $200. It goes for about, I've seen anywhere between seven to $800 online. Like I said, it was a no brainer. I got the lenses. I was like, hey, even if I didn't like the camera for $200, I can sell it. They still make a profit off it, $400 or $500 or whatever. But I'm going to keep this bad boy. You know, it's, it's small. It's lightweight, got the cool little viewfinder. You can look through it like that. And you got the flip out screen and it rotates. What? The flip out screen. I got the 85 millimeter uh, Lumix on here, uh, which is the 42.5, but you know, everything looks the same. Uh, let me get a little closer for you guys. As you can see here, it has everything. Got the histograms, got all of that. Going to the menu, just the picture profiles you got. Menu's pretty much the same. Pretty neat. Screen, everything, you know. This is it. And can't go wrong with this, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty neat. Can't go wrong with this. Pretty neat, you know what I'm saying? Got the viewfinder. Got the viewfinder. This is it, man. I mean, can't go wrong, you know? Pretty neat. Full hand. All that stuff. Thank you. 
picture profiles. Standard, vivid, all of that stuff. So that's it, man. Uh, oh yeah, guys, tell me what you think. You think this is a good investment? Uh, was you would have done the same thing for two hundred dollars? I thought it was a good idea for myself. I already had the Micro Four Thirds lenses. Um, the batteries are different, though they're not the same. It uses these. Uh, let me see here. These little, uh, what is it? The DMW BLC 12 PP. These are smaller batteries. Um, this is the original Lumix battery for this camera. I just went ahead and ordered two more online and a dummy battery. So like I said, you know, I shoot, when I do shoot interviews or stuff like that, I like to shoot in a natural profile. This has a natural profile. Shoot, I could just throw this on a slider. It's light, 85 millimeter like this, you know for a nice you know different close-up angle or whatever but i just thought i'd put that up there let you guys know shoot man i feel lucky with this camera you know i'm gonna keep checking the app uh it's called let it go so depending on what you know it shows you everybody that's selling things in the area you can find lenses cameras cars just like off road you can find anything but yeah man just thought i'd share that with you but it's your boy mel you know saying with ill visions llc also follow me on instagram my instagram is also ill visions llc all right, I'm out. Peace.